Welcome back to Book Stage and Screen. We've got the award-winning, highly talented, all-rounder <laughs> Serena Geddes. Is that a good enough introduction for you? That was really impressive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, and did we pronounce your last name correctly? Because that's the hallmark of this show is we mispronounce people's last names. <laughs> Uh, no, that was correct. It's getting Beautiful. Better. Wonderful. We can move on. <laughs> um, now, I came across you because you're, uh, well, one of the, you've illustrated many, many books, but one book that you illustrated, Run, Pip, Run, had won an award just recently. Uh, yes, it was um, It was shortlisted for the CBC Awards for this year, 2016, and I guess it's just an award for the Ready, uh, Reading Children's Book Prize for 2016, so it's very exciting because it's very unusual. It's a different kind of book to what I've worked on before, yeah. so um, I'm really proud of it and I'm really proud for JC Jones that, it, that it's got getting so much recognition as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, so. That's, and so how does an illustrator, obviously a, an author goes to the publisher and pleads their case for them to <laughs> publish a book, um, so yeah. how does an illustrator come on board? Um, I'll speak just from my experience. Yeah. Um, I actually just sent uh, about 12 pictures through to various different publishers, just introducing myself mm-hmm. and showing them the different styles of my own work. And a lot of it really does depend whether or not the publisher has a manuscript that might potentially suit your style. Mm-hmm. So um, my first book um, that I had was a Rory Boat, What Can I See? And, and the story actually had a giraffe in it, and mm-hmm. I just had an illustration of a giraffe <laughs> in my little 12 pictures that I'd sent through. Yep. So sometimes that's what it takes it doesn't necessarily mean that your work's not what they're after or it's suited. It can just, it could just be as easy as they've got a manuscript that they're looking for a character which you just might have in your portfolio. Um, but once you sort of build up a little bit um, with getting to know a few of the different publishers, I just sent work out. I ended up looking at a lot of going into the library and, and the bookshops and picking up books that I really liked or I found inspiring mm. or I felt my style was similar to. And then I just turned it over and just looked at who the publishers were and then that's when I just started to send through some of my work to different publishers based on the books that were in the bookshops as well. And so, how long have you been drawing for? I've always enjoyed drawing. <laughs> I've always been doing it for, for ever since I was little. Um, I actually have been doing the books, illustrating books full-time for publishing for about six years now. Wow. So, um, and I had a lot of long break in between. I I'd also worked for a company that I was quite recognised, <laughs> and <laughs> which I'm thinking you might get to that point later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> with, with a mouse, um, yeah, but move yes. on, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been doing it for about six years now, and, and it's been great because it's a lot of... Um, Opportunities, I guess, that are starting to come up, and I'm starting to take my work overseas as well. So I've got a, a few projects with a US publishing house at the moment. So that's fantastic. So, oh, great! Yeah. So when you so when you get the manuscript, um, mm-hmm. do you talk to the author at all, or it's just all about the words that you're given? I think it depends. It depends on the author, and it does depend on your publisher as right. well. It's not very common. I think it's between a little bit more so now, but mm. it's not as common for an author and illustrator to be collaborating too much. I think a publisher likes to stay um, in between that and, to, and feel like they've got to oversee the whole project. Yeah. Um, for myself, I, I enjoy it. I actually uh, draw a lot of inspiration from the authors when they're sitting in front of me and, and their passion, their excitement, and when they're talking about the characters. Mm. That really comes through, and I, I really pick up on that, and that where I draw a lot of my inspiration. So, for instance, with the Lulu Bell series, Belinda, I knew Belinda uh, previously. Okay. And when I actually got that project, I was very excited. I just rang her up and said, I got the job. And I said, can I come over? And, and we have tea and scones. And she's like, well, I don't have scones. And I'm like, well, get some. And, and, um, <laughs> and I just spent the time with her. And we just talked about... Uh, her ideas, what her inspiration was, the bit of the backstory, and that really helped myself. And I, I can see that sometimes in the different books I've worked on, where I've had a relationship and just met up with the authors. I feel that kind of comes through a lot in the characters for me, anyway. Yeah. So, 
And so do, is there ever a point you think where you would just... Um, could you go to a publisher with the author and already have it illustrated or that doesn't really... That's not really how it works? It's not really how it works. Publishers tend to... I think that's where a few people get a bit confused when they're submitting a manuscript to a publisher yeah. because the publisher would like to obviously read your text first. Mm. And if you have an illustrator that you do want to do a project with... Uh, I guess the best way to sort of approach that is to have an, have your illustrator draw maybe a couple of rough little drawings about, of the character or of the scene. Yep. And if the illustrator wants to maybe do one drawing, but mm. usually publishing houses will, if they like your manuscript, they would possibly allocate that to an illustrator that they already have. Yeah. Um, and the same with an illustrator. Sometimes it's the publisher that actually can look at a script and your style and know that you guys will match up really well. Oh. So I don't, I don't really recommend it. I, yeah. I, it's, yeah. It's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. Not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> They're the matchmaker. They're the Tinder yeah. of publishing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> In a nice, clean way. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, I was looking at your website, and you've got heaps of books on those websites. How, how many books have you done all up? Would you, would you say? I think I've done about forty books. So wow. I've um, yeah. So it's been six six and a half years now. So mm. there's a lot of every year's been busier, and it becomes a bit of a blur sometimes. I have to sort of stop and. <laughs> kind of look at what I've done and just say, well, that's good. <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, so I have been pretty busy and I'm starting to branch into different areas, which is which is great. And I've enjoyed seeing my work develop, I guess, over this over the time as well. And um, what are those different areas you're you're branching into? What are you what are you doing? You're not supposed to ask me that question. <laughs> 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 well, uh, sorry. We, she she wanted to keep the um, the illegal stuff off air. <laughs> yes, <laughs> That's okay, what she's no, branching no. into. <laughs> um, I've just I'm looking at sort of joining with a uh, another lady just to design some of my own illustrations mm. and to eventually get them onto different to sell them as prints to look at sort of uh, fabric design. Just branching, ah. still in the creative industry, but yeah. opening opening up a few other doors doing a bit of work for advertising companies as well um, yeah. but the main thing is is that I'm, I'm at a point now where I'm really ready to start exploring where my creativity and where my illustration style can take me and I've just mm. I've actually just um, been offered a book deal with the US for my first author illustrated picture book so ah. so that's that's exciting and it's yes. actually a lot harder to write a story than you might think well I was just about to ask you if you ever felt you were you know drawing other people's for other people's words and thinking, you know what, I could do this. <laughs> You've just answered my question. So, but you, do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been, look, it's been fun. And yeah. I think for me, illustrating for other people, A, that was a lot easier for me because that's more where my skill set is. Mm. But it's also teaching me the process of what goes into writing a book. And, mm. um, because, and because I'm so image reliant, I, I, I use my, my illustration to, to tell a story and and so much of that does come through to then have to put words it felt really foreign for me and <laughs> I, I remember my agent said to me I said can't we just submit this as a wordless picture book and she said Serena I'm a word person I need words <laughs> and I was like oh this is crazy and yep. so then I had to re try and create all these words and put the story in, into into text and then by the end of it she said you know what maybe it might be better as a wordless picture book <laughs> 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 I've got words now. I've got to put it forward. So that's pretty exciting. So it'll be um, 2018. I think that comes out. So. Hmm. Well, that's something to look forward to. Let let us know when it is coming out because we can yeah. we'll, we'll we'll mention it. Now, I I do like your style because it does look like you do it all by hand with you know a brush and ink and pen. But mm -hmm. what, where are you with sort of modern? modern technology are you do you use digital as well what what do you do yeah so I, i'm i still love doing traditional illustrations there's something for me where drawing on paper the the feel of it the the flow of it i just i don't feel that i can rep, that replicate as well for me digitally but um but everyone's different it's what you're used to i guess i'm a bit old school in that respect and 
since I think since the Lulu Bell series came out, a lot of the books like Lulu Bell, um, Run Pit Run, and Hijabi Girl, they're all done all hand drawn. But then I scan them into the computer and I actually paint them digitally. And the reason being is that you can work with different layers, you can enhance colours, mm-hmm. um, and you can change it. It's a lot easier to change. And the the main reason too was with the US with some of the books I'm doing over there mm. it was just it was far easier to send the files digitally and then make amends if they needed because you'd lose a lot of time if I was trying to post some things <laughs> <laughs> so um, so I've, I have advanced with technology but I still love I much prefer that there's something a lot more freeing and I, I'm not sure something about painting by hand or drawing pencil it's just it, that that sort of talks to me a lot a lot nicer and easier and that's what I love doing so so how do you um, obviously you have a talent a natural born talent but how do you oh. hone your skills and learn you know you say you're trying different techniques do you go to class or do you ask other illustrators how do you sort of seek to further your craft um, a lot of it I, I've sort of taught myself, but I, it is important as well to do little courses because I, get, I work from home, so it gets me out the house. And yes. <laughs> it, you become, I realise how much I, you can become a bit stagnant in what you're doing when you're doing the same thing. And you actually, because I'm quite a visual learner, I like to see other people doing it. So yeah. um, like I'm, member, I'm a member with um, Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators and okay. Illustrators Australia. So yeah. they kind of have events or meetings or catch up and it's it's actually quite good being around other creatives because you learn different techniques and they do a lot of talks where they talk about processes and I think that just opens up uh, up sort of your mind to, to exploring different avenues and trying different things and um, and of course everything that you're learning you apply it to your work whether you realize it's relevant or not yeah it does it does have it does play out in a lot of ways so oh, okay so if you're starting off in the in the industry those two organizations are places to go to kind of not only meet but also sort of gain some new skills for illustrators um, yes well one of the things with um with SCBWI, they um, they have sort of meetings every, I think it's every four times a year, where we, we'll get in authors, illustrators, also publishers and editors, so it's an opportunity for for you to actually meet, you can be a member or a non-member, yeah. but it actually gives you the opportunity to, opportunity to meet with all of these people and um, just to get a feel of what the what the publishing industry is after, what an editor might be after, what they might be looking for, and they're always talking about tips and techniques. So it's it's a great way to get just to surround yourself with other creatives. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to I, I had a funny experience. I was talking on a, a panel at the New South Wales Writers. Um, of the Kids Lit Festival yeah. a couple of weeks ago and I was on one of the panels and I was sort of saying as an illustrator it's probably best not to when you go to these events don't sort of bombard um, the a publisher because it's, it's not the it's not the right thing to do yeah. and I said you know just get surround yourself in these situations get to meet these sort of people and eventually you'll end up there'll be an opportunity and you can say, oh, I've met you three times, here's my card, or whatever. It's about building building relationships, I think. Yeah. And as, after I did that big spiel, the next panel, there was a publisher on there that I had never met and I really liked her. And the first thing I did was walk <laughs> straight up to her, literally tripped over myself and said, can I give you my card? And I was like, oh, no. It's exactly the thing I told everyone not to do. So, and she just laughed at me because I got really nervous and she's like, don't be nervous. I know who you are. So... <laughs> So, I, I guess at the heart of it, we're all all that first timer where we're still yeah. slipping things under the toilet door. <laughs> yes. Would you like to read this? <laughs> yeah, it's like do as I say, not as I do. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we should mention you're uh, you're hitting the big time. You're on Kids WB this Saturday morning on Channel Nine. Yes, I'm kind of excited and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, it's the first time I've been on TV, so and. And Shane Crawford and Lauren Phillips, they're just amazing. They're yeah. just such lovely people. And they were so embracing. And I just sort of, 
uh, just sort of went up to the, they didn't even know I was going to be there. So when I sort of walked up there, I was like, hi, I'm going to be on your show. And it's my first time I've done this. And they're like, you'll be fine. Yeah. And I had to laugh. I don't get to see the edits and things like that. But one thing I remembered is I was paranoid about tripping down the stairs. It's like two stairs. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's just that whole thing I'd boots on. It's like, oh, yeah. I'll be on live television. I'm going to trip down the stairs. <laughs> and uh, Lauren just said, oh, we're just going to do a high five. So when you come in, we'll give you a high five. So Shane came running up to me to give me a high five, and I thought he could stand up to help me down the stairs. <laughs> so I just grabbed his <laughs> hand. <laughs> I was like, oh, please don't fall down the stairs. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so even if we weren't going to watch that, we are now just to watch that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes we need to tune in. <laughs> But yes, it's going to be um, from nine, or it starts at seven, so it's cartoons, but it's seven till 11. But yep. I think I'll be on there from nine till 11. And I'll be talking about um, when I worked for a mouse in trousers and um, uh-huh. <laughs> and a little bit about the book. And then I do a little illustration trying to give a few tips uh, oh. with Lauren. So yep. Fantastic. Well, tune yeah. in, and there might be some yeah. illustrators, budding illustrators that you might inspire. And oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. We didn't get a chance to talk to you about the budding ears, but um, maybe next yeah. time. <laughs> maybe next time I'll yeah. call it back. <laughs> Lovely. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on the award for Run, Pip, Run and, and your new publishing deal in the States and all the things, exciting, fun things happening for you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. It's been great. No wonder. See you soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.